Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Shadogs to Bomb Pop Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a small Theme Park News from update from Plops a Landed Pan. Now yesterday we reported on the extreme spinning coaster layout details, uh, including inversions, the number of launches, and of course uh, we got the link in the description of that video down below in that video for the POV. Pop Slander official release of the POV on their official uh, YouTube page now as well. I'm sure that's out and about on the internet, so make sure you go check it out if you want a good quality full length footage of the POV of the ride and the static statistics and of course the elements layout of the layout in detail. So make sure you go check all that out. This video, however, we're going to be focusing specifically on the Bumba Kids area, which is the brand new kids area opening at the park in 2022. Now this is their uh, family area is originally supposed to be planned with a family coaster however we've got a family dart ride plan now uh, so we're going to be sharing with you some concept arts for this um, just a couple of concept arts like two or three images uh, and I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this as well so let's start off with the concept images so concept image number one on your screen now find a bit Aussie. that contains the actual sketch the drawing sketch the black and white drawing sketch of the trains for the ride now the trains for the ride look fantastic not gonna lie looks brilliant um, massive 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 fan of the trains and I think they resemble like a cartoon car I mean that's the kind of vibes I'm personally getting from this um, so I think that looks pretty cool you can see the one of the big theming items to the side as well uh, that looks pretty cool. You can see there the massive uh, sort of circus type theming in there. Moving into number two on your screen now, Fando Bedorsi. Looking at that concept image, and you look at how that's got the sort of uh, design feel with the um, sort of massive theming. You can see a bit of the track as well, which pretty much confirms this is going to be a trackless dart ride. Um, so there we go. Moving into number three on your screen now. Fan of it all. you look at that. That is an overall plan of the whole area. This is the plans that we showed you in the previous update on this when we got the news that they were bringing in the dark ride to replace the coaster on the plans. Uh, this was scheduled to open in 2022, not 2021 or 2020. And then finally on your screen now. And Abidorsi, that is the concept art of the overall area. So you can see you've got a Zamperla Samba balloon attraction. You've got a Ferris wheel attraction to the uh, left of your screen on the image. And you've also got a live stage towards the back of the area. Now, this will be for some kind of live show, we believe. But we don't have official confirmation on what that will be. Uh, but from the looks of it, like I said, it will look to be a live show. Uh, and of course you can see so sort of next to it the massive building at the other side of the back of the area you can see the dart ride so there we go so that's sort of all the things from them from this bomber area now sharing my thoughts on this I think this is going to be a fantastic looking dart ride a fantastic looking kids area I think that the park are doing a really cool job with this I think the theming in this is absolutely spectacular I feel like the level of detail in this area and the ride as well looks fantastic I think the level of detail going into this is brilliant uh, I feel like Pop Slander spent a really good period of time looking at the theme of the area and the ride looking at the characters in the in the ride and the whole area itself the landscaping um, and the sort of lighting around the area especially in that last concept image um, which is still on your screen um, you know it's, it's such a it's such a brilliantly landscaped area beautifully lighted all around um, you know, and I think that Popsland overall, like I said, have done a really cool job with this. Good to see some other attractions in the area. The Zamperla Samba Balloon, that's a very nice family attraction. Obviously, you've got the James and the Giant Red Balloon, uh, Red Balloon attraction at Drayton Manor's Thomas Line. We're looking at those kind of things, uh, but less sort of, it's, a, it's one of the more permanent looking additions, like the one at Drayton Manor. So, uh, that's good to see with the bright colours on the concept image. Um... You've also got the Ferris wheel uh, to the left of the uh, concept. Uh, that looks good, again, with the same kind of colour scheme as the Samba Balloon attraction. Uh, but again, very bright colours uh, and stuff like that. The live stage kind of gives me old vintage Shakespearean looking stage kind of vibes and old curtain call kind of stage vibes, uh, which is very nice. Being an actor, I sort of get the kind of style for staging, etc. I mean, um, you know, I think it was... Uh, God... Uh, it must have been like a month ago now, or just over a month ago, I went to see Rich III at the San Wanabeka Playhouse in London near the Globe. 
uh, and they sort of set their stage at like an old Jacobean theatre. Um, so I think with the classic design like with the vintage red curtains and the sort of vintage style seating I think that's the kind of thing we're looking at this with this live stage at the back of the area from the looks of it anyway and I'm sure we're gonna have some like bumper meet and greets and some live shows on there etc so again very cool about this area so there we go so thank you very much for us this theme park newsroom update on the bumper kids area like I said Really exciting for this. I'm really, really excited about this. And I hope you guys are really excited about this new attraction and this new sort of area as well. I didn't speak much about the dark ride because I'm sure we're going to get more details on that in future dates. But thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Charlotte and the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.